Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkverse. This week, I thought I'd share with you guys a super quick guide on how you can block almost any ad on your Android phones. From those annoying intrusive pop-up ads to those even more annoying vlogging video ones, we're going to hit every single one of these at once. And even more, these are methods that I actually use personally on all of my devices. And as always, if any of you guys want to grab my live wallpapers, you can do so from my very own epic live wallpaper app. And of course, make sure to visit the request section where you can also submit your own wallpaper requests. Alright, let's dive into these two game changing alternatives. The first one is super simple, while the second gives you a bit more control over your online experience. So first off, we have a custom DNS. It's a quick fix to help you filter out all of that noise. Just simply head over to your phone settings, find connections, and look for the advanced section, or depending on your phones, it could even be called more connection settings. And here, you should see the option for a private or custom DNS. Simply toggle it on, and here, we want to enter dns.adguard.com. AdGuard's very own free DNS service, which works like magic, helping to block malware, online tracking, and those annoying malicious sites. And just like that, you've just blocked those annoying ads cluttering your screens. So whether that be browsing the web or even playing games, they're near enough all going to be blocked. Now, let's move on to my preferred method, using a custom ad block app. Personally, I use AdGuard the app, but alternatives like Blockada work just as well. Now, the results here will be very similar to us using a custom DNS, but why I love it even more is control. With the app, I can toggle it on and off right within the notification panel. Need that performance boost in the game without totally re-enabling all of the ads? Easy. Plus, on top of that, I can see exactly how much spam it's blocked and data that I've saved using it. It's really an eye opener. Now regardless of which ad block app that you go for, make sure to dive into the settings to unleash its full potential, fine tuning it to block cookie trackings, pop-ups, and even whitelisting sites where you don't mind seeing ads. Now regardless of which one you go for, it's going to help optimize your online experience. Now will this block all kinds of ads? No, but it will help cut out majority of them. Sadly, as more and more service providers move over to server-side ad implementations, these kind of tweaks will become less effective in those minute situations, like when using Facebook or potentially even YouTube, the app itself. But if you are using the web version of them, these may still be useful. And like I said personally, these have been working wonders for me. And because they're both free, why not give both of them a go and let me know which one you decided to finally go with down in the video description below. But if you guys are still struggling with system wide pop ups and notifications saying your phones might even be infected, well you might want to check out these videos next. And of course, if you guys want to see more underrated apps, make sure to like and subscribe. And why not check out some of my Android customization videos. See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.